catches my eye. This ought to go back quite a few years. The Shadow. He's back and God help the guilty. The Strange Creature in Black. The Shadow. And we just see some other ones here. I notice there are some posters over in the corner here. I'd like to take a look at some. Here's one that catches my eye right away. I'm just going to set the mic down and hold this up a bit for a second here. Must be the sister to the Hulk, apparently. The She Hulk? You could ever forget this book. This book sold over 12 million copies and then was later made, made into an extremely successful, controversial film. Another book that uh, eventually was made into a movie. Popular about nine, ten years ago. It's one of the started a huge trend that uh, sent everybody to the movies and I'm sure many kids found this to be tasteful, enjoyable reading. Well, that's just a look at some of the many comic books that are here on hand and just a moment we'll be back with uh, a couple of more guests to talk about a comic book convention and about someone who has actually published certain comics. We're back at Fantasyland Comics here, and I have with me Jim Rosso, who for the past five years has successfully put together a convention here in South Bend about uh, comic book buffs who come. Let's talk a little bit about this convention you do. Yeah, it's entitled the Michiana Comic Con, and we have put it on for four years. This will be our fifth year of putting on the show, and um, just starting to distribute flyers around to local comic book shops, and the next show will be on April 4th this year. And that will be in South Bend? Yes, in South Bend. Where will that be located? It'll be at the ZB Falcons Hall, uh, Sheridan at Western. Western Avenue. Yes. All right, do you alone uh, get the uh, convention going or do you have some help? Pretty much it's a one-man operation. I have uh, some help on the day of the show, but uh, basically it's a small enough show that I do all the solicitation and all the publicity and uh, getting the guests arranged and uh, getting the hall set up. How long have you been involved with uh, comics? Probably about 25 years. I've been collecting since I've been 14 years old. And what are some of your proudest collections that, that you have? Well, I've had collections and, and sold them and reacquired them and sold them, but uh, right now I'm working on a collection of Golden Age comics, comics from the primarily 1940s, and i put together about uh, 60 issues in pretty nice shape. Mm -hmm. So that's where my main interest is right now. Do you have anything that is worth value? Oh, yes. I've uh, paid considerable <laughs> sums for books, and uh, they're worth quite a bit of money, probably in the neighborhood of 100 to $200 per book. All right. And where do some of the people come that, will be, that attend the convention? Well, basically, the, the show is for southern Michigan and uh, northern Indiana comic book fans. We're the only show between Chicago and Cleveland and Detroit. And we draw from, oh, as far as Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids, uh, as far away as Indianapolis uh, to the show. And we get dealers from as far away as Buffalo, New York, uh, Champaign, Illinois. Uh, anybody that wants to buy or sell comics. We, like I say, we have a pretty good show, and uh, dealers do quite well here. Do you yourself travel throughout the country and attend other conventions when you have the chance? Uh, not too often. I've been to the Chicago, the big sh show in Chicago in the summer. They have a three-day show up there, and I've been to uh, Cleveland once and Indianapolis a couple times, but it's pretty time-consuming uh, to go over to uh, too many shows too often. What are, how popular are the overseas comics over here? Uh, I can't really tell you. Brian would probably be more of a, of a gauge of that, but I don't think that the uh, overseas comics have invaded this country. <clears throat> all that much. Uh, Marvel reprints its books in England, and a couple other companies reprint their books in England. So it's more of a... Comics are almost a, a U.S. export. So there's not a whole lot of talk of overseas or Japan or English comics at the conventions? Not uh, comic books, no. The, they have done some reprint of some uh, popular English comics, Judge Dredd and 2000 A.D., which have been pretty popular here. But that's about the extent of it. What... Uh are you trying to do to liven up this year's convention? 
Well, this year we've got, as usual, uh, comic book professionals, people who actually write and draw comic books for a living will be there. We're going to have about 30 dealer tables. Uh, we're going to have door prizes. We're going to give away Golden Age comic books, uh, recent comic books, t-shirts. And we're going to be running uh, Japanese animation videos, which is <clears throat> becoming very popular uh, recently. Uh, the Japanese have been doing some new techniques in animation, and they're quite uh, stunning for uh, TV. And we have a gal in Fort Wayne who comes up, and she'll be putting on uh, Japanese animation all day long. <laughs> that ought to be something. So that's the big thing new that's at the convention. Right. All right. Now, would you uh, please give me the date on that convention again? Okay. It'll be uh, April 4th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have the ZB Falcons Hall, Sheridan at Western, in South Bend. And that is 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. South Bend time. Right, South Bend time. Well, thank you for taking the time, and best of luck with the convention. Yeah, thank you very much. And right now I have Mark, and boy, excuse me, would you mention the last name? Benicia. Benicia, and you are a bona fide published comic book author. Right. All right, and tell me... Uh, what steps did you take to pursue uh, comic book writing? Well, the first thing I did was I went and talked to the publisher of First Comics, and he went about telling me everything that I needed to know about publishing comics on my own. And then I came up with a comic book, and uh, I found a business partner, and we joined our efforts and came up with a book. All right, and you have it here with you? Yeah. The well, this is uh, something that I did on my own. Would you hold it up, please? Where is Pyra Pyramid is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is here in town. And tell me, how many how many issues have you had sold and printed up? Well, the first the first issue of Barbaric Tales had a print run of 26,000. And the second one dropped down to 18. But your first issues always sell more because of the collectors. <coughs> I see. And um, do you have to go through, uh, so it's not really anything difficult to get a comic book underway? Or what are some of the major steps? The major steps are advertising and uh, getting distributors interested in your project. So uh, it's not real easy, but it's uh, it's easy enough that there's been quite a flood of new comics coming into into the comic shops, and so it sort of uh, produced a black and white glut at the time. Do you have any more plans to uh, print up more of Barbaric Tales? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's my best-selling title. Any other plans for more comic books or different comic book ideas for you in the future? Yes, I'm going to be trying to go into color comics. It's probably in midsummer. All right, where do you see, in your opinion, where do you see comics going in the future? Is comics heading in any certain direction, or is it just staying the same? No, it seems like it's uh, really getting into a lot of different variations. Actually, um, it started out with sort of just being kid stuff, and now it's going more into the adult range. As you can see. Well, sure, people are willing to spend a hundred dollars for a, you know, any one of these types of comic books. I can, I can very well see that. Yeah. Do you attend the local convention in town? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And is it fun to meet different people involved in the field? Oh yeah, sure is. Has uh, anyone uh, inspired any thoughts in your mind when you meet these new people? Um, no, the people that have inspired me the most are people that um, that I really enjoyed their work when I was younger and uh, people that inspired my artwork. And who are some of those? I assume you're talking about comic books and the comics, yeah, or people who have done them with? Professionals, such as uh, John Byrne and Mike Grell, who are well-known comic artists. I see. Uh, what are your long-range plans for uh, the comic book business as far as publishing your own books? Uh, just to get as, as many different things out there for people to enjoy and not to go too mainstream with things because that seems to be the trend right now is to try to get away from the superhero stuff and to go more towards um, fantasy and science fiction and stuff like that. So now is there money to be made in the comic book business as a printer you know, having your own comic book? Yes, but it, it all really depends on how you play your cards. You know, getting back to the first issue of Barbaric Tales, uh, who are some of the main characters? Do you have main characters in this? Uh, or? Yes, uh, my characters are the ones that are featured on the cover here, and they're the Warriors 3. And then the second feature in there is a story called Damlog, and that's written and drawn by a, a Norwegian artist. I see. And uh, the third one was, somebody, was done by somebody here in, uh, in Indiana. Mm-hmm. So even in the small 
small town of Rolling Prairie people are involved in the comic book business. Uh, you said there were 26,000 uh, copies that was uh, country throughout the entire nation. And Canada. And Canada. What, uh, do you know what areas in the country that was, did they go as far as New York and California and so forth? Right, yeah, it's, it's totally nationwide in Canada and I guess some parts of Britain too. Well, I thank you for taking the time and best of luck with Barbaric Tales and uh, with all of your other endeavors in the comic business. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue looking around here at Fantasyland. I'm trying to find the book that might get my interest up the most, and I think I have found it here. Absolutely. We'll see you next time on Interesting Individuals. <laughs>